Seven years ago, two shy young teenagers came on my show. They'd never faced the cameras before, even though they're the children of Bollywood legends. Today, they've grown into beautiful, confident young women with great personalities. And I am delighted to welcome back the Deol sisters, Aisha and Ahana. Speak to me so I can see your soul. Hi, Isha. Hello. <laughs> you look absolutely lovely in white. I wore this just for you. Thanks. <laughs> You're looking amazing anyway. Thank you. We have so much to catch up on. Lots. <laughs> really lots. <laughs> Do you remember the last time you were here, you weren't even sure that you were going to join films? If I remember clearly, the last time I was here, that was when I first uh, broke the ice and mentioned that I wanted to act in films. That was the first time I ever mentioned. Okay, let's on your show. <laughs> let's just see it now. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and braces and all. <laughs> so Isha, are you going to join films like your parents? Um, I am interested, but it all depends on what my father has to say about it. Haven't approached the subject yet? I did once, so he said no, not at all. Because right from the birth, he used to say, make a dance and or anything, it's okay, but not films. How are you going to manow him? <laughs> Slowly. I don't want to upset him or anything. It depends yeah. on whatever he says. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, no? Oh, God. I am curious. What if your father had said, no, Isha, I don't want you to join films? <sighs> what would you have done? My father is so passionate about acting. He went against his mom and dad and you know he came and joined the industry and I'm his daughter and he knows me more than anyone else on this earth. So he knows what will hurt me and what won't. Mm. There was no question of what if. So now you've done about 17 films since that day. Yeah. Was it tougher than you expected? It was much tougher because when I started when I was 18. I was very raw and it took me a lot of time to get the whole grooming and, um, because you were very much like your mother's image yeah. when, in your first few films. Yeah. And then, boom, happened. How did it happen? Abhi um, has seen me quite a few times before also when I was uh, not yet in films. And yeah. he always found me very athletic and very sporty. And mm -hmm. he said that there's a role and I feel you need to just lose that baby fat of yours and your body will be perfect for the role. And... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I used to be at the gym 24 hours working out and... Uh, and what did you feel about that, you know, wearing those sexy clothes and things I like that? felt very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> but were you uh, reluctant initially? Not at all. I mean, um, I'm very free that way. I mean, I don't have any... Um, Hang-ups. Hang-ups or anything. But you have to have the right kind of body if you want to reveal yeah. certain um, portions of it. It has to look nice. If there's extra fat and all, then it does tend to look vulgar automatically. But what did your family feel about this transformation? Mom thought I look like J-Lo. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Blonde hair was something that my grandmom at that time wasn't happy at all about. She's like, you know, uh, I'm colouring, my, dyeing my hair black and here you girls are going and colouring your hair white. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, it's just fashion and I'm supposed to do it for this film. If I remember right, I think... Uh, used to wear a hat every time I used to get home. Because every time I would get back home, I had, you know, people commenting on my hair colour and I couldn't take it anymore. What did Dad say? Dad's not said anything yet and I didn't think he'll say anything about who. He's seen it? I don't know. Oh, you don't know? It? No. If, That's but he sees your films? No, no, he's seen a couple of films of mine. But mm. uh, I feel it took him a little time to yeah. get to, used to the fact that now, okay, she is in the industry and she is part of it. Mm. Initially, he wasn't, he used to not, uh, you know, pay any attention to the work because I, you know, he didn't want me to join films and not for anything else. His whole thing was just that there is a negative side to the industry also and he didn't want me to ever face that side and touch wood, luckily, I've never been, uh, never seen that side. I don't think that side exists. But is there ever a conflict for you between what your father, who is orthodox, expects from you and what the industry expects from an actress? I'm very clear that way about my profession and my personal life. Yeah. And at the same time, my family, I have a lot of respect. I love my family and um, they are someone who have a certain kind of dignity. And, of uh, course. So I am very careful that way I know where to draw the line. You know, in the industry, in, in this generation where you are supposed to show, you know, you have to play a certain image. Yeah. 
if you want to be part of this industry. No, it is required for it is required to market her sexuality. Yes, it is required and I take it very professionally and I everyone in my family also takes it like that. So you've never had this qualm, oh, what will Papa think? No, no, never. never. As a person on my own, I will not cross uh, certain uh, lines. Line. No. You are seen as a sex symbol. <laughs> You are? Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what's interesting is that you're not a silly sex symbol. Mm. You, you're a strong sex symbol. Yeah. And it will only get strong roles, I think. Well, I hope it goes on that way. That, that was my intention. How ambitious are you? I'm very ambitious. Very ambitious. I can see that in you. I can I'm see... I'm a very restless person. I can't sit in one place for too long. And I'm, I need to keep working. I can't sit at home. And very focused. That's because uh, my life is movies and uh, my family, that's it. Mm. I don't prioritize anything else in my life. For me, my career is more important than any man in my life also. You know, I have to tell you, I've been very impressed with, with the work you've done in your films, especially the recent films. I loved you in Yuva, I loved you in Ankahir. But you know what impressed me the most? What? I would like to know. But this is a very silly thing. <laughs> oh, okay, what? <laughs> I was very impressed that this guy acted fresh with you and you whacked oh. him. Oh. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, I mean, it's just this guy uh, trying to act a little Cheap. too familiar. Oh. And uh, it happened very instinctively. Before even my mind could think, my hand was, uh, you know, <laughs> doing the thinking and the actions <laughs> followed. What happened? I, I mean, I have, when I'm walking, I have an invisible wall around me. And I've just been brought up that way. I don't, I mean, even when I'm talking to someone, you know, generally, I don't like anyone, you know, they'll hit and talk and what's up. I, I, I don't like all that. I feel very uneasy, especially when I don't know you at all. Mm. So this guy, he just... Uh, Where were you? We were uh, in Pune for the Das uh, premiere. Mm. And there was a lot of crowd and all. And before I could even uh, realize and think what had happened, I just got touched in the wrong place. And... Uh, I didn't, I mean, I, for me, I didn't see who he was. And before I could see and did anything, he was out of the place. <laughs> you gave him a fatak. <laughs> I think it's, it's wonderful. I did kickboxing and I shouldn't let it go waste. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe you got quite a punch. It's, it's my dad's uh, genes mm -hmm. and I fully can defend myself. <laughs> I don't feel sorry about it at all because uh, who is he and why should he and how dare he? A lot of girls, you know, just let this go. Let, let, like, so many girls who travel by buses yeah, and trains and do. face this every day. I mean, what to do? Some men are like that, yeah. you know. So you have to be prepared for it and join some uh, classes, learn karate, learn kickboxing. And I wish all girls could do that. Yes. Well, lots of them have boyfriends who handle it for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's true too. <laughs> so um, is there anybody else that you've wanted to slap? <laughs> I don't want to slap anyone. No hero? No, no, no. They all are nice. None of them are. No heroine? No. Think? <laughs> Think? Not anyone anymore. <laughs> Which reminds me, you don't have a boyfriend. No, I don't. That's why I'm protecting myself. Isn't mom thinking of finding you a oh, boyfriend? Mom is uh, very keen that I, uh, you know, have a boyfriend and things like that. But somewhere I feel I won't be able to justify that side uh, right now in life. I won't be able to give him my 100%. Mm -hmm. And for me, if I'm in a relationship, I want that also to be 100%. Mm -hmm. so who has your mom found for you or thought of for you? She's finding, I mean, she, she, if she had things her way, she would find probably some South Indian. No. <laughs> or then they'll get me a nice Sardarji. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Listen, didn't I hear something about uh, Vivek Oberoi? Hmm? No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, wrong, wrong. You got it wrong. Did there. I? I thought I did. I thought you uh, somewhere I heard or read or you'd said that uh, your mom was thinking of Vivek for you. That or? must have been Ash's mom. <laughs> not me. <laughs> My mom. Okay, so then I got the wrong number. No, no, not Vivek. Me, no me. <laughs> Sorry. Why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not your type? No. Who is your type? My type? I don't know if I'll find my type in the industry. You've worked with the most gorgeous guys. Yeah, I've worked with very nice looking boys. And you don't fancy any of them. It's really sad. No, I mean, they all are very attractive, uh, very good looking boys. And uh, I would be uh, fooling everyone and myself if I said that I've never found them attractive mm. or anything. That's something that happens 
you know, to us every every mm. second uh, minute of the day, you find someone attractive. But nothing that I can act upon on. Well, you know, you're one of the few single girls here. There is just you, Priyanka and Rani. <laughs> and now yeah. all the guys are gone. I mean, Vivek is free, but... <laughs> 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 right. Mm. <laughs> what if there is this hot, passionate kissing scene mm. and you can choose ah. your co-star? Who would you choose? Who would I choose? Who has the most kissable lips? You tell me. Shah Rukh Khan. <laughs> good, good, good choice. Good choice. Good choice. Hi, Ahana. Hi. <laughs> you your baby the last time you were here. Yeah. You remember? <laughs> of course. I'm going to show it to you again. <laughs> Hi, girls. Hello. <laughs> this is Asia. That's Ahana. Hi. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Now, one of you sizzles and one of you giggles. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? She giggles. <laughs> yeah? Does she giggle a lot? Yeah, she giggles a lot. And she asked me what she should keep her name for the Hotmail, so I said keep giggle with me at hotmail.com. Yeah, but do you think we should give everybody your address? No. I think I already given. Let's do that. <laughs> Just so adorable. <laughs> Funny. What do you feel when you see yourself like this? I don't know, I just feel like I've grown up from that. This was seven years ago. Yeah, it's now like she's taller than me. Matured into a beautiful woman. Oh, oh God. God. Absolutely. <laughs> but has your relationship changed? We become much more, um, Closer. much more buddy buddy. You know, okay. then it was more my younger sister and my older sister, and we had a little issues. You know, then while growing up. Mm. But now, uh, I mean, she's like my best friend in the house. But uh, <laughs> you, you used to fight a lot. Yeah, we fight even now. We still fight. One sec. I like teasing her a lot because she gets irritated really soon. <laughs> She hits me one whack, she leave I'm like as good as Papa hitting someone really strong. Let <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not allowed to hit her. Why? Yes, she's a baby. <laughs> Hana, are you going to become an actor? No, I'm not. Like the rest of your family, why? It doesn't interest me, and I feel like everyone else from home <clears throat> is uh, into it. So, from what I see, I don't feel like I want to get into it. I don't want to be oh, an actor. <laughs> but you've received a lot of offers already, haven't you? No, no. You have? Churala, you have? The film I did was offered to her. I don't even know what She thing. rejected the film and then I got For Yesha, like from before, she knew somewhere that I want to do this. Like when my mom and all of us are down in the dining hall or, you know, doing something down, she'll be up in my mother's room, sitting on my mother's dressing table and putting lipstick and looking at herself <laughs> in the mirror. And I've caught her doing that so many times. <laughs> And you never wanted to do it? I don't know, it's just not my thing to do. <laughs> I feel she's the right material we have for movies, but it's a personal choice. I mean, I'm not going to force her into something. No. And she's, she's completely uncomfortable with the entire filmy scene. She's basically a very shy person. What about Motley? No, not even that I'm shy or anything, mm. but it's just not like I, I have many other things that I want to do, which I will do, but so, what 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 are the things? You right now, I'm in my second year mm. BA, but I have many other courses that I want to do after that. Your mother was saying that, uh, that she finds that there's a lot of stress in today's generation in the film industry. That's so true. Uh, do you find that she gets stressed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's quite hard to even uh, I think cope up with all these uh, new expectations that people have. You know, the mm. whole uh, sex appeal and the whole. Yeah. You have to be completely strong for yeah, that. And yeah. I've seen her go from, like, you know, being like a small baby into it, yeah. like getting into the films, and then finally now reaching where she is. And I'm mm. sure she has a lot more to do and realize, and she'll keep changing, I'm sure, mm. because from na from there till now itself, she changed so much. Mm. How sweet, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> is she still as much fun as she used to be? Yeah, of course, she is. We do a lot of fun things together. Still mimic people? No, I'm just not mimicking anyone off late. She's a d very good mimic, no? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you mimic your mom, no? Just one, one. How do you... <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Nahi. Nahi. Just like her. Yeah. Uh. Anna, if you had to pick uh, a perfect guy for, for Asia. Honestly speaking, yeah. I've always told her this, that she shouldn't go for anyone from the industry. Because I think it's just 
too hard and you like you'd rather have someone all for yourself than see him you know what i'm saying it's just she's a very possessive leo <laughs> i am a very possessive scorpio <laughs> so i definitely say someone out of the industry maybe not an indian you know some like something different because i'm sure she'll be happy or somewhere else. and then we'll have a home there of to go to and yeah. so long and we just <laughs> have fun out there <laughs> if you could change something about isha what would you change uh maybe sometimes uh she could um, understand me and listen to me instead of me listening to her because mm -hmm. yeah that's what i would really think that's why i'm your older sister no but so what <laughs> i was born to teach you yeah but i know things. things sometimes like few things i was born just to learn things from me <laughs> and you follow <laughs> don't you think so you're also two sisters and we listen to each other we might mm -hmm. take so much advice from her come on ana what yeah, do you mean by saying that but i'm not only about the advice but just generally like if i want to watch something and you want to watch it yeah, like that's no, really i want to watch, yeah. watch this like, oh, i want to watch that so then who wins i go to my room and i watch what i want to watch and she watches what she wants in her room anything you want to change about ahana no i think she's perfect no <laughs> oh, god sent to me and she's my baby sister <laughs> <laughs> so who's more emotional out of the two of you i'm trying to make out i'm emotional but uh, i am I don't know I'm not that emotional. <laughs> She'll see a puppy on the road and if that puppy is walking aimlessly somewhere she will look at her and she'll have tears in her eyes. I'm glad you love animals. Yeah. Of course. Mm. But uh, even though you're a girl or woman or whatever you have to have a heart like a man I think. Mm. Which that just makes you strong for anything and everything else because men may look very strong and all but somewhere they have like a really strong heart you know and Oh, they don't have feelings, but but just the whole that just makes you prepared for anything that comes your way. You know, they're more hard. I wish men are not as emotional as women. Yeah, and you, it's not good to be, I think. But Anna, you can always wisen up in like few yeah, years and course, become just less, less emotional. emotional. <laughs> Girls, I want you to make a wish for each other. Oh, a wish for each other. Yeah, go first. Uh, I wish that Aisha. get so very kind hearted very good looking maybe brazilian or greek boyfriend <laughs> ah! could be italian yeah at least just one that's a really cool wish ana so wish better be nice well i wish that um, you soon figure out uh, your profession and start <laughs> off with it and you see lot of success in life and make lots of money and uh, settle down with a really nice guy who be able to take you bullying him and have lots of dogs and have a big house yeah. by the beach <laughs> both your wishes come true yeah. <laughs> and that we will all get together in 7 years and see yeah. what happens yeah okay. definitely <laughs> now one song from both of you and my bags and stuff and i'm ready to go i'm standing here outside your door i hate to wake you up to say goodbye But the door is breaking. It's early morn. The taxi's waiting. He's blowing his horn. Already I'm so lonesome. I could die. <laughs> so kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you'll wait for me. Hold me like you'll never let me go.